Zonkity doo da. Whoa, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. That I got a softbox light here. <laughs> what? What are we doing? What are we doing here? It's me, honestly OCD. I'm here. Welcome. Let's talk about this. I, uh, I have something on my mind. It's been eating away at me. Um, I've been beating myself up over something. Uh, I was sitting there the other day and I was looking at my kids and I just felt like, I don't know, I had this weird feeling like I, I should be doing more and I want to be perfect for them. And uh, once I said that to myself in my head, I started fixating on that word perfect and what it meant to me and why I thought that and is is it fair to say that word is it a real word is it a real goal is it something we should be fixating on is it something we should even be chasing perfection is perfection real is perfection real so I'm going to answer that question no I don't think perfection is real um, to me at least maybe some of you might think that it is. Uh, it's just my mind set right now. I don't think perfect is real. And I don't think that the chase of perfection uh, is a bad thing. So I know that sounds strange, right? Is perfect real? No. But chasing perfection, I think, is a good thing. I think everybody should be chasing to perfect themselves. But I don't think anybody ever actually gets it. I don't think so. Because to me, What's perfection? Perfection means you're perfect, which means there's no growth. There's no room for growth. Can't go higher than you already are. And where do you go from there? So would you want to be perfect? Does that mean the game's over? Where do you go from there? So what I try to do in my head is I take the word perfection out of the equation for me. Personally, again, um, I replace it with, um, I try to use the words ideal or realistic. So for me, I try to react realistically to a situation. I try to give the ideal version of myself for the situation and I try to grow and become better always. You always try to strive to be better. So, you know, maybe it's the hunt for betterment, <laughs> the hunt to be better. Perfect, I think, is a, is a tough one because you know, I think it, you battle a lot of things when you start chasing perfection. For you to progress, you have to unearth yourself, really. Honestly, you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable position because that's how you learn. You have to put yourself in a vulnerable position because that's how you grow. I don't know. I, I know some people are going to disagree, but that's life, right? I think personally, like I said, there's no perfect. I think you just got to be the perfect version of yourself that day. Uh, you might suck the next day, you might be a shitty version of yourself for weeks at a time, maybe months, you might have a really bad streak, and perfect might not be on the horizon from where you are, uh, but, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta push yourself, you have to always try to be better, right, you wake up and that's gotta be the goal, um, I'm big on the chase for stability, and and growth, but I feel like there's a real tight balance. You gotta be careful, right? Because with stability comes complacency, and I'm not about that. I don't like that. So for me, I'm always trying to grow. No matter what it is and everything I do and everything I plan and everything I hope for, there's gotta be some kind of growth. Um, so I'm always chasing perfection, but in my head, I have to acknowledge and I have to keep it there that, that there's no such thing. So like I'm chasing this version of myself that doesn't exist. If that makes sense, it's weird, right? But I feel like it always gives you something to do. Like if you, f you finish the game, right? If you're at the end of the game and now there's no levels left, no one's just going to come in and give you bonus levels in life. You know, it's not like a DLC pack's going to open up for life and then all of a sudden you get to 
try more things and, and get better than perfect. So that's why I don't like that word. I hate that word. It's a very strange word. Can you be the perfect dad? No, I don't think any parent is perfect. I think every parent can be amazing parents because each child needs a different type of parent. Each child has different needs and, and each parent does their way of parenting differently. And that's why I never really judge any parent. And I, I don't judge any parent's situation and I don't judge parents' decisions unless they're purposely out there hurting their child. Then I judge the hell out of them. But if they're trying and they're loving their child, you can't judge them, right? Because that to them is their perfect situation. You know, is there room for improvement? Yes. Again, that's why I think that there's no such thing as perfect. You, you just need to be loving, caring, compassionate to your kids and, and show them what it means to be a good parent. That's the best you could do, right? Um, funny thing, let's talk about detailing. You're never going to have the perfect paint. I don't know anybody has the perfect paint. Even these show cars, you go up to them, they don't have the perfect paint because you can't control every variable, right? A car from factory, never going to have the perfect paint. If your car is parked outside, never ever going to have the perfect paint. If you drive your car at all ever, never going to have the perfect paint. Uh, even if you PPF the car fully, there's going to be something that you don't like about the PPF or something and, and you're never going to have the perfect that either. So perfection doesn't go there. It doesn't go in parenting. Uh, career, there's no such thing as the perfect career. It's the best career for that moment. What if you get older and you don't want to do what that job is later on? Everybody's always chasing retirement, right? Isn't that perfection? So then you're not going to have the perfect career, right? Because the end, like your career ending is the perfection that you're chasing. So that's perfect. So the career can't be perfect. I'm all over the place, dude. Whoa, who? Crazy. Life is just a collection of bad things happening and you responding and pivoting your position accordingly. That's life, right? So the best possible response to the stuff getting thrown in your face at that time. Yeah, so all you can do is be the best version of yourself, not the perfect version of yourself, the best version of yourself each and every day. Try to do the best thing uh, for that moment, the best thing for the people around you. You keep a good circle of people around you and that will help you be the best version of yourself. So that's what I, that's what I kind of want to get out there. Don't, don't try to be the perfect version, just be the best version. I think uh, whether you realize it or not, I think that chase for perfection is, is what causes so much anxiety, depression, probably suicide, um, and just overall mental health issues. I feel like sitting there, I think it's going to cause helplessness. You know, people are going to have that feeling that they just, oh my God, I can't do it. You can do it. You're, you are doing it. You're breathing, right? You're a beautiful person. You're breathing. Everybody is so unique and everybody's got something to offer to this world. Everybody is the best version of themselves. If they're trying, then you're the best version of yourself. You're giving it effort. You're being the best version. If you're trying to be a good person, you're being the best version of yourself for that moment, for that situation. You can always be better. That chase for perfection, yes, chase it. Even though you hear me saying there's no such thing as perfect, you have to have that chase for it, but you have to just be the best version of the day. And I think you're going to go far. I think it's a, it's a good thing. It's helped me so much just realizing that I can't be perfect. It, it's, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing. I had a lot of time when I was extra heavy and I was like, oh man, you know, what if I had the perfect body? I didn't work for that body to get the perfect body, I'll never have the perfect body. But in some, some reason in my head, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be nice? But I don't know. There's people that are battling massive amounts of depression and they've got eight pack abs. So is perfection the perfect body? No. Is perfection uh, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 figures in the bank? No, there's people like, look at Elon Musk. You can't tell me he doesn't have some mental health issues. Like he's not battling some stuff. He definitely is going through depression. He looks sad. But he's rich as hell. So money doesn't buy the cure. Money doesn't buy perfection. I think we're all on the same page. I think um, we just got to be there. Be in the moment. Be um, willing to pivot and respond. That's what I'm saying. Pivot and respond. I have 
panic and I've got this roller coaster where I go through like doom and gloom. Um, one second I'm happy, one second I'm optimistic, the next second I'm like, oh my God, everything's falling apart. But you know what's crazy? When I'm happy, happy and optimistic, I, I don't have the drive. Weird, right? I don't have that drive. But when I'm worried, when I'm panicked, I kick it up a notch. That's when I try to turn myself into a different version of myself because I feel like if something's not working, if something's not perfect, I need to strive to make it better. So that's, that's where I go. That's where I've been going. And I feel like it's okay. It's okay to do that, uh, but I feel like, you know, I'm rambling like crazy right now. Let's, let's just recap real quick, right? Is there perfection? No. And should you chase perfection? I feel like you should chase the perfect version of yourself for that specific situation and time and realize that each specific situation and time changes what version of yourself needs to be perfect. I think the point of life is realizing that no matter what, there's going to be bad things and Life is about reactions. I, I know a lot of people try to plan and, and prepare, but I don't think you can fully plan or prepare for everything. I think life is about how you react. You, uh, you just can't beat yourself up about things and worry. Um, you can't be upset if life hits you with things and if you have doubts and fears. Um, I think what you gotta do is remind yourself that life's short. You're only human. Um, you're not gonna win at life. Nobody wins, nobody gets out of this game alive. Wake up every day, put one foot in front of the other and just try to be a good person. I, I feel like what you put out into the universe is what you can get back if you truly believe that. You know, obviously I've been screwed over a lot. I've had people I've been very good to and they were very not good to me but I feel like you can't walk around with that sense of entitlement that everybody owes you what you give them back. I think in general, it comes back to you though. I feel like if you're a good person, good things will happen to you. I, I genuinely feel that. Not perfect things, good things. Maybe great things, not perfect things. Yeah, anyway, stop trying to be perfect. Maybe you are so amazing that you don't need to be perfect. You're just so close. But if you have that perfection and you stop, like I said, where do you go? You have to have something to fight for. What are we living for? You have to have something to claw up for. We want to go up, right? Nobody wants to say, oh, I'm going to coast through the rest of life and that's it. You got to push and climb and you got to keep getting up to the top. You got to keep growing. You got to like a little, little plant. Go up. Anyway, that's all. Uh, weird video, but I wanted to get it out there. Sometimes I'm driving and I'm getting these topics popping in my head. So I'm gonna start recording what happens because I do wanna make more of these videos. I sit down and I, I realize that I am a roller coaster of emotions <laughs> most times. I actually feel bad for the people that have to listen to me all the time. You only hear me once in a while when I actually find the time to make a stupid video, but there's people that have to actually listen to this blowing off all kinds of nonsense on a daily and I do understand uh, and I am compassionate I am sorry but thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you're an OCD OG I truly appreciate you stop trying to be perfect you're amazing you're gonna keep being amazing you can keep being amazing be great be good be okay and you know what it's okay to be shitty it's okay to be shitty. It's okay to have a shitty day. It's okay to be down. It's okay to lose. Doesn't mean anything. You can be good the next day. You can be great the next day. You can chase perfection again the next day. Wake up and chase it. Don't let one day, two days, three days get in the way of the rest of your life because there's a lot of goddamn days until there isn't. When you get older, there's not a lot of goddamn days. That's scary. So start, start chasing the good, the great, and the amazing. Stop with the perfection. See you guys on the next one.